KEL 9 POLITICAL REPORTER TOM WADE IS LIVE IN THE NEWSROOM NOW WITH THE VERY LATEST. TOM. HI, PAT. WELL, TONIGHT RUSSIA'S PRESIDENT VLADIMIR PUTIN IS TURNING UP THE PROPAGANDA MACHINE, HOLDING A MASSIVE RALLY TODAY AND TRYING TO CRACK DOWN ON INDEPENDENT MEDIA. MEANWHILE, PRESIDENT BIDEN IS PRESSING THE CHINESE NOT TO HELP RUSSIA WITH MONEY OR WEAPONS. New satellite images show the devastation in the city of Mariupol as Russian bombs ripped through apartment buildings and even a theater was hit where innocent women, children and men were taking shelter in its basement. It's not clear how many survived. And now the Russians are targeting another major city, Lviv, in Ukraine's Far East, which until now was spared the mind-boggling carnage carried out by the Russians in other parts of Ukraine. CBS News correspondent Imtiaz Tayeb is there. Really, what this says to the people of Lviv, who for so long have been spared the kind of violence we've seen elsewhere across Ukraine, is that Russia's war is now firmly on their doorstep. And in Lviv, this heartbreaking scene. At City Hall, more than 100 empty strollers were set out, each one representing a child murdered at the hands of the Russians. And in Moscow, a propaganda rally like something out of the Hunger Games, featuring Vladimir Putin with an adoring, cheering crowd, reported at around more than 200,000 people at the city's largest stadium. The event was billed as a celebration of the eighth anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula. He's trying to shore up support within Russia. He's smart enough to know that uh, his support ends at the Russian border. I'm sending this message to various different channels. Former Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger posted this video on social media yesterday, hoping to reach the Russian public and soldiers, imploring them to see the truth of Russia's horrific and murderous invasion. This is not the war to defend Russia, that your grandfathers or your great-grandfathers fought. This is an illegal war. Putin is doing his best to cut off the Russian public to independent media, fearing voices like Schwarzenegger's, who is beloved by ordinary Russians. Governor Schwarzenegger's video uh, has uh, made quite an impression on a lot of people, and he, he's hoping that somehow it reaches a, a fair number of Russians as well. Friday, President Biden held a nearly two-hour call with Chinese President Xi to discuss ways to de-escalate the crisis in Ukraine. The U.S. is concerned Russia will ask China for weapons and financial help. Did President Biden directly ask President Xi if he intends to help Russia? Well, he made clear uh, what the implications and the consequences would be if China provides material support to Russia. CBS News has learned the Chinese have still not decided whether or not to help Putin, but President Xi made clear to Mr. Biden today that it is the Russian leader's responsibility to pull back, implying they won't lean on him to do so. The carnage in Ukraine has included American lives. Here in Chernihiv, which has been devastated by Russian shelling, James Hill found himself trapped inside one of the bombed out buildings in the city. Known as Jimmy to his friends and family, the 67 year old Minnesota native was in Chernihiv looking after his partner Ira, who was suffering from MS. His last Facebook post read Intense bombing, limited food, room very cold. Ira in intensive care and said there is no way out. Hill and his partner were killed. My brother was a peacemaker and he was a giver and uh, he just felt everybody in the world should love each other. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky is calling for comprehensive peace talks with Moscow once again. In a newly released video statement, he says Russia would need generations to recover from losses suffered during the war on Ukraine. Several weeks of talks have provided no breakthroughs so far and little apparent progress. Live in the newsroom, I'm Tom Waite. Pat, back to you. All right.